Hey everybody, it's Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com and I want to show you the new version of Parallels Desktop 8. And as you can see, I've got it open here with three virtual machines. A virtual machine is a, uh, a software virtual uh, computer. Uh, they set it up to make it look like a very basic system so that you can install other operating systems on top of OS X. I've got Windows 7, I've got Windows 8 down here, and then I've also got a version of Mac OS 10. But I've already opened up the Windows 8, so let's go ahead and show you that down here. Actually, we'll click right there, and that brings it up. So as you can see, it's uh, running the version of, uh, the preview version of Windows 8. And I can go ahead and go into some of these apps, like let's check on the weather app. Now, you'll notice it's not running incredibly fast, but it's running about as fast as it does uh, in regular, on a regular system in Windows 8. If you go up here, this is where you get your task switching. And so that brings us back to the, uh, this is the Windows 8 desktop that's sort of, it's kind of like a virtual version of Windows 7. So I'm running a virtual version of Windows 7 on top of Windows 8 on top of Mac. Use your Windows key to go back to the start menu um, here's a, an application that I have installed and it's gonna go ahead and boot it up actually it's no this is the pictures uh, app in Windows now um, so it shows you all the pictures that I've got now what you can see up here these two little boxes um, you have to use the, the uh, command tab to get your cursor out of the box. But this gives you the full screen mode right up here. Uh, you can run this in full screen mode and it will look exactly like you're running Windows on a Mac without OS X. Uh, and you can then quickly get out of that without too much. Well, let's go ahead and try it. It might work. There you can see it. If you want to set up a new machine, the way that works is you hit file and then new and you see this nice parallels wizard uh, this thing works great this wizard works really well makes it very easy to install a, a new version of the operating system uh, you can install from a, a CD or it takes an image file if you've downloaded an image file of Windows or some other operating system like Ubuntu, uh, you click on that and it'll go find that image file and load it. Or you can migrate from a PC. You do that by connecting it directly either through a crossover USB cable or through a network. Uh, you can download Windows 8, the free version. And uh, I've got some other software that accidentally updated there. Uh, you can download uh, a version of Ubuntu. You can download a version of Ubuntu or the Android operating system if you want to get a look at it. You can uh, install Mac OS X from the recovery partition on your Mac. Or you can open up a virtual machine that you've already set up. Say, let, let's say you're a, previous, a user of the previous version and you're just updating it. And uh, so you want to open up the Parallel 7 version of one of your virtual machines. Say an instance of uh, Windows or uh, something else. You can do that. Now, why would you put another version of Mac on top of a Mac? Let's say you're a software tester and you want to uh, have a clean environment without anything in it. And then the next option is this convenience store. You can open that up and buy copies of, say, Windows or another copy of Mac. You can go into the virtual machine and do lots of different things like start, suspend, shut down, restart, pause the machine. You can stop it. You can reset it. Uh, basically, if you're no, used to Windows, you know what most of these are. Take a snapshot means to save the system as it is. That way you can go back to a previous version. Maybe you're testing an app or software and it messes up the installation. So uh, you want to revert to a, the time before it. It's kind of like going in, um, uh, you know, back to a previous uh, uh, backup of your computer system. And that's where you manage the snapshots. Uh, reclaiming disk. This is just a bunch of different things you can um, do. One of the things I did was uh, install Parallels Tools that makes... Uh, Windows run a little bit quicker, a little bit easier. Now, what I want to show you here is the configure menu item. 
And one thing you want to make sure you do is that you use as much memory as you can. This time, right now, I've got this Windows 8 um, instance running with only one gigabyte of RAM and only one CPU. Uh, if I didn't have it open right now, I could change these. I could bump it up here to about four. Uh, my system has eight. And so what I recommend is running with about three to four megabytes and then use as much disk space as you can uh, because you'll need, you know, uh, at least 20 or 30 gigabytes to run a copy of Windows and one or two apps. These other options um, are a little bit more advanced options. You know, I wouldn't really mess with these unless you know what you're doing. Uh, hardware, you can change a few things about your hardware. Let's say you don't need a, a floppy disk. And so, you know, you can disconnect that if you want. Um, maybe you wanted to change something about these. And so those are some of the... All right, so here we are in Windows 7. One of the things you'll notice is down here, I've skinned it uh, to make it look sort of Mac-like. The way you do that is go to View and say Use Mac Look. The very first time, it will download the resources from the Internet, and then it will switch that over. If I uncheck that, Watch as it takes a little while to uh, switch back. Now switching back to regular Windows is a lot simpler, um, but notice that it looks more like traditional Windows there. And usually what happens is right after you do that, it crashes <laughs> uh, the version of Windows. So I really like Parallels 8. It allows me to use some applications that I wouldn't normally be able to use. Right now I'm running this in a window mode. If you go up here to view, enter coherence. All right, so now it changes the environment. So you get rid of the windows look. And when that happens, you want to go up here and this makes a little start menu show up so that then you can run the applications that you use, the windows applications. They will open up and they still look like Windows applications, but notice how, you know, that's just a single window by itself. So what you could do is then uh, resize this window and say you want to work in pages. You know, I, I write in pages and I use this Bible software. So, you know, I could copy from here. And then come over here and paste it. And that allows me to use my Mac app right next to my Windows app without really looking like I'm working in Windows. Coherence is a good way to do that. Um, then you can exit Coherence and you go back to the window mode. But as I said, I, I really like this application. I think it works great. It gives you the chance to use these uh, operating systems, uh, different ones. And so... There's a free trial version that you can take a look at. The full version costs $79.99 and a mat, the update version from the previous Windows or Desktop 7 version uh, is $50. So I'd recommend downloading the trial, check it out, see if you like it, and if you do then uh, go ahead and invest in the, the update or full version.